Hey guys, today we are putting in our fencing to hopefully keep the deer from eating up our garden. Uh, we've got six foot tall deer fencing, black welded wire, and I only have, hey old buddy, I only have six and a half foot tall T-posts because that was all I could get locally. So we're gonna have to figure out whether we're going to bury a foot of it in the ground, which would, I guess would be good for keeping animals out, or just roll it over or lay it on you know, at a 90 at the bottom. I don't know how to figure that out. But I think I've got more than enough to get this done. And uh, also, <laughs> I gotta be able to keep these guys out of here because they'll just uh, bulldoze everything. They may be a worse threat than the deer. So the first thing I gotta know is where do you want your door? Where do you want the door, the gate, I should say? Well, I originally thought down there, but I don't know. What do you think would be the best? Can we do like this whole, like the whole thing be a gate or what's these? All right, so this is the house right here. So I'd put the door right here. Mm, okay. And this is the potatoes, beans, and that way it's like a free space. Okay. Um, so I'd like to stick to this as much as possible so I don't, uh, get confused okay okay I'm gonna give you I'm gonna do a 42 inch wide gate Yay. okay yeah there. yeah right there so I got this post and pipe level I don't know if I'm gonna need this or not I don't know if anybody ever cares if these things are really that level but uh we'll see he won't even let me uh hang a picture if it's not if he has to do it. it has to be level can't eyeball anything hold it lower Lower, there you go. Looks pretty good. You wanna take the plastic off? Hmm. Basically, I'm at 60 inch. I got five foot sticking out and that's what I want. Five foot sticking out. All right, now we'll go down to the end and put one in down at the other corner. Perfection. If you saw the, the uh, garage clean out that we did, the video that we did, the camera got knocked over. My main camera set up and everything got busted. I gotta see if I can get it fixed. So now we're working on a backup camera and this one has a tendency to just randomly shut off. So I don't even know what in the past it's gotten. Hopefully it got most of it. Let me show you what my current tripod setup is. We'll see if the uh, wind can knock that thing over. Yeah, same tripod I had before. I just didn't have the legs stretched out like that, so. Did you bring us something? That's a big stick. Oh, yeah. Mom, I, I got this thing for you. <laughs> I know. Okay, who has my tape measure? Somebody have my tape measure? Oh, I have your tape measure. She stole it. Okay, so. Mom wants a 42 inch gate right here. So we'll put Uh, you want to grab me a post? <laughs> That's kind of a heavy baton. <laughs> but normally you do this when you're putting like a four by four post in the ground. And this lets you know that you're getting everything nice and level. Level, level, level. Originally, the plan for the garden area here was to build a really nice fence. We were going to use cattle panels and paint them black. I was going to frame them out with two by material and put them on uh, like six by six posts or four by four posts all the way around, which would look really nice. But wood, the, the cost of wood right now is just crazy expensive. I've mentioned this in some of my um, previous videos. You know, and they say it's supply and demand, but it's, there's no demand for the wood like that right now. Tons of homes are being put on hold right now because of the cost of wood. Uh, two by four that used to cost, you know, $2 or $2.25 now is like five fifty. 
So when I, when I added all this up, the price got so high that we decided we just wanted to keep this thing as cheap as we, as we could. And this, I think this ended up costing somewhere around like 400 bucks. But to have done it the way I, I originally wanted to do it was, in, was gonna end up costing around like $1,800. So uh, that's why we went with the welded wire and T-post fit system. <laughs> Don't get daddy's hands. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Girl on my shoulder, heart full of blues and in the dirt. Down in the dirt. <laughs> Did you just drop that on the ground? Do what? You just drop that string on the ground. It's, it's it won't mulch. That's biodegradable. Really? <laughs> no, it's not. I figured I have some of picking up in a minute. Grab the shoe. Now, why do you do it on the base instead of the top? Uh, well, you might normally do it on the top for certain things, but for here, the top, they could be off any All direction. All right, okay. So if I go by the top, and then I try to put the post in the ground, I could be at some crazy angle. Gotcha. If I run this line, I know that where this line is, is the outside of the fence. Oh, okay. I see your shoe. Yes, a wooden shoe. I can't hear anything, so. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Make sure that doesn't move, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
We got black welded wire so that it wouldn't show up as much because it's right here behind the house but as far as the t-posts go all i could find were these green ones with the white tops on them uh, but i don't want that so i've got some black spray paint here and i'm just going to at least spray the tops of all of these and um to help them blend out i think the green will probably blend out anyway but i'm going to start at least spraying the the white part black <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should go through the time and trouble of doing that, but I mean, it took me five minutes and I think that looks way better. What's for lunch? We're gonna have chicken and salad. Oh, when you said chicken salad, I thought you meant like regular chicken salad. This is even better. Yeah, chicken and salad. I should have counted it out, but I was a little lazy. And now it's taking forever. Oh yeah, you gotta pound them flat. I know. I skipped this step and I wish I hadn't. I knew I would mess myself up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you have? I'm making some sort of food. Your own little concoction? Yes. Oh, I got chicken. Chicken. Mm, who wants some chicken? Who wants some chicken? Down. Good doggies. Okay, Storm. Okay. You want some? Down. No, <laughs> down. Good boy. Okay. Hi, Hello, beautiful. No. Go look, in, uh, go look on my pegboard out there in the garage. Just so you know, giving dogs raw chicken is not bad for them. The bones do not kill them. It's cooked chicken that can kill a dog. Well, not cooked chicken, but cooked chicken bones. Don't ever give your dog cooked chicken bones. Raw chicken bones, totally fine. Oh, we got some, some uh, vine wrapped around there. Be careful, there's thorns and that stuff. You're ready to roll. Watch your fingers. Ta da! Instead of using like the traditional uh, uh, wire way of attaching, I'm just gonna use black zip ties to hold these on. For one thing, they'll disappear, and for another, you know, if you want to take them off, you just cut them off very easy. keep it kind of circular because it was circular before and it goes into this rock area that's circle that way it just aesthetically pleasing I think maybe but it, it looks kind of weird but it it mirrors that circle over there 
Um, and this is where the original grass line was before we took the palmettos out. Yeah, so we might extend it at some point, but this way it just kind of looks cohesive with the landscape that was here. So of course deer are a big issue for a lot of people, obviously with gardens. But one thing that's kind of unique about our situation is we live on an island and uh, there's a ton of deer here. I mean, there's been a population of deer here for hundreds of years. Deer here. Deer here. And uh, there's no hunting allowed on the island. So the deer just populate like crazy. And uh, these island deer, they're not afraid of nobody, man. So they come to lay down in your yard and they dare you to shoot them because nobody can shoot them. Cuts it super easy. Just be careful, don't cut this one out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could use them like little stakes for uh, some tiny little plants. <laughs> tiny little tomato cage. Look at miniature variety. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One thing that's cool is whenever I first, we first planned this out and we had all these palmettos out here, and I drew it out, and Kim drew out her, uh, to scale, she drew out her garden. And it seemed really huge. And then when we got the palmettos out, it was like, uh, it seems kind of small. And then what well, once we got the the fence up. The fence up now it looks big again. So <laughs> I mean big for us, you know. Yeah. So. Starting out. Yeah. Cool.